This is a, a Huygens asymmetrical 40 millimeter eyepiece. I'm testing it on the subject, which is the one of those baskets which are now at the center of the image. Yeah, these ones. Let's see how the image looks like through this telescope with the Starwatcher ED80. And that is how the image looks like through the 40 mm asymmetrical Huygens eyepiece. It's a circle T Japanese eyepiece. Quite rare to have a 40 mm eyepiece in the Huygens range. By Huygens design, I mean. Field of view is uh, relatively narrow, but that's the, due to the barrel. The size of the barrel, which is 0 0.96 inch. Uh, they call Japanese style. And that was the image you could see to this. And this is a telescope, uh, which is a sky watcher. ED80 gold version on a Dobsonian flex tube 130 Dobsonian mount. This is also a Kellner 40mm 1.25 design. This is a box. And let's see how the view looks through this. Let's see how is the view through this eyepiece. This is the view through the 40mm Kellner design eyepiece. As you can see, the image is uh, first, the field of view is wider because it's a one and a quarter inch against the uh, Huygens, which is a uh, 0.96. The view is clear. You can say probably up to yes, yeah, 60 to 70 percent of the view is clear, and you can see the B also. Quite nice. And that is the view through the 40 millimeter Kellner lens. Okay, this is a second Kellner 40mm eyepiece. Compared to this, is almost double the size. So let's just see what's the difference. The lens size, you can see here, compare it for yourself. And uh, let's just put them together. I bought them with a series of eyepieces that uh, two of them were orthoscopic 18mm and 26mm Celestron. So I wonder is it the same uh, brand? If, if, if it's something is Celestron, maybe it's Vixen also, the old 1980s or even earlier. So let's see the view through this eyepiece. Wow, the field of view is really bigger. This 40mm Kellner has a bigger field of view than the other 40mm. And I think I like the comfort of holding the camera. I'm holding a mobile phone camera. And it is quite nice to be able to enjoy a little bit bigger field of view. The colors are vibrant, beautiful. I can see a lot of details. You be the judge. And that was the view through this uh, bigger uh, Kellner 40 mm eyepiece. The next eyepiece I'm using is a, a Plusl 40 mm This is the box of it. It's unbranded, so there is no name on this eyepiece. Let's see how it looks, the view through this one. Let's see how is the view through this eyepiece. Oh, the field of view is massive compared to the Kellner. The yeah, I can say thirty percent of the field of view near the edge is not very clear and sharp, but the center is very sharp. And that was the view through this uh, unbranded forty millimeter plus eyepiece.
This is the Revelation Astro Plus Hole 40 mm multi coated. It comes in a black box, um, glossy. Let's see how the view looks through this. This eyepiece is really better than the unbranded one. I can see a lot of details. It's almost clear right to the 80% of the field of view. 20% near the edge or 15% is not very clear. The rest of it is beautiful. You be the judge. And that was the view to the Revelation Astro 40mm eyepiece. This is Celestron Omni 40mm plus a light piece. Let's see how the view looks like through this. Okay, this is a Celestron Omni. It's part of focal with the Revelation Astro. And that was the view to the Celestron Omni 40mm eye piece. This is a Mead Super Plus Hole 40mm eyepiece. It comes in this bolt case, plastic bolt case. And let's see how it looks through this eyepiece. Let's see the view through this eyepiece. Mead Super Plus Hole 40mm eyepiece. Through the Skywatcher EDAT. Uh, it's not part of focal with the Celestron Omni 40mm or the Revelation Astro 40mm plus. Field of view is beautiful, wide, crisp, everything. You be the judge. I cannot see clearly because the sun is shining on the camera, mobile phone camera screen. So I try to focus it. I hope it's in focus. And that was the view to the Celestron Super Plus or 40mm eyepiece. This is a PL 40mm or Plus or 40mm uh, Ostara eyepiece. It comes either in a bolt case like this, plastic bolt case, or in a cardboard box. It has one of the biggest lenses. Almost all of it is lens. It has one of the biggest lenses I've ever seen for a one and a quarter inch eyepiece. It almost reminds me of the Russian tall 25mm plus hole and uh, as a Edmond Scientific uh, RKE 28mm eyepiece. Let's see how the view looks through this. It's one of the eyepieces that from a distance you can see the field of view. It's a really easy eye relief. Yeah, this is the field of view, very neat and clear. The edge is very clear, the center of course is here, the colors are true. If you want to get one plus hole eyepiece, get this one, Ostara 40mm, PL 40mm. And that was through the Ostara. This is the Wixen NLV 40mm, 42 degrees, fully multi coated eyepiece. It comes in such a box, typical of Wixen. And it has uh, more fancy features like this uh, eye guard and the shape of it. Let's see how the view looks through this. Yeah, let's see how is the view. This is the view through the Wixen NLV 40mm. Field of view 42 degrees according to the stated amount. As you can see, the field of view is clear. I can see that uh, the edge of the field of view is a little bit difficult to see if it is in focus. The sun is shining on the screen. I hope it's in focus. I'm holding the camera by hand. And that was the view through the Wixen NLV 40mm. This is the Teleview 40mm plus hole eyepiece. It comes in a black box and in a plastic bag, just normal nylon. Let's see how the, is the view through this eyepiece. 
it has a quite large lens let's see how is the view through this the teleview 40 millimeter plus eyepiece uh, I can say it's quite sharp and that was the view through the teleview plus of like this this is a max vision uh, multi quarter 68 degree field of view 40 millimeter eyepiece probably the uh, heaviest eyepiece I have and an amazing viewer you know I've seen the Sigma Orionis all the eight members with this easy although it is a really wide field and uh, low magnification eyepiece excellent eyepiece I must say um, is equal to the meat and the uh, um, export scientific 68 degree um, and 41 millimeter panoptic of teleview I believe this is better than all of them let's see how the view looks through this it comes in a fancy box velvet and the uh, foam and the uh, opening on the top let's see how is the view through this massive eyepiece I have to change the balance point of the eyepiece so it will go in focus. This is a Max Vision 40mm eyepiece. As you can see, the field of view is quite wide. Sharpness, I must say, is one of the sharpest uh, eyepieces I've ever had. Uh, it is in rank with uh, you know something like uh, uh, Nagle 31. Which one I prefer? Hmm, difficult. Both of them are good. Max Vision 40mm, 68 degrees eyepiece. And that was the view to the Max Vision 40mm, 68 degrees eyepiece. Love the eyepiece. I prefer it to use on the Newtonian or something like a Dapsonian. It's more stable. Okay, these are 12 40 uh, millimeter eyepieces. I've tested all of them. And you have seen the result for yourself. You be the judge. Uh, Money-wise, uh, these and these are the most expensive. Then comes this. And the rest of them are quite cheapish. Uh, built in China or Japan and this one is built in the Taiwan which is again China that is China and this one is probably the cheapest 40 mm it doesn't have a label or anything uh, very good eyepieces all of them you will not go wrong with any of them uh, except probably the 40 mm Huygens uh, which is for different type of the telescope, all the styled classic ones. Uh, because the barrel size is 0 0.96 against the one and a quarter and two inch eyepieces that we have here. So, and let's see how the lenses look. As far as you can see, 